We're back here in the tackle room once again. And today, we're talking about one of the most effective springtime baits out there. Yet, I hardly ever see anyone use this. We're going to talk about what it is, how I like to rig it, and how I like to use it. Stick around. You don't want to miss this one. Ooh, there we go. I got him. Oh, that's good. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Stay down. Told you. The old Smithwick rattling rogue. Ooh, come on. He went after it too. And here is this video's featured comment. Congratulations! If you would like to have a chance to have your comment featured in an upcoming video, all you've got to do is leave a comment. And now, on with the video. Welcome back to Lowbrow Fishing. And when it comes to springtime bass fishing, there is certainly no shortage of effective lures and presentations we can use to go out to the water and catch some really nice fish. We've talked about quite a few of them already this year on the channel, such as jigs, soft plastic jerk baits, crank baits, and even some topwater. However, there is one particular type of technique, one particular type of bait that often goes under the radar. It is often overlooked, even though it's quite common. Many anglers have these baits, and the pros know, the pros are using these baits in springtime tournaments to catch big bass and cash big checks. I am, of course, talking about a hard plastic jerk bait. Now, again, some anglers can swear by these during the spring, but for the most part, they often get overlooked. There's so many more techniques that people do that they often forget about how effective a jerk bait can be during the spring. And trust me, I always have a jerk bait tied on year round. However, during the springtime, when that water begins to warm up and those bass are chasing those huge bait balls underwater, a jerk bait is going to be money. It's certainly going to be something you want to have tied on. So today, we're going to cover how I have these rigged up, the gear that I'm using, the different types of jerk baits that I am using, and how I'm using them in different situations, the retrieves that I'm using, and where I'm looking to target those bass because it does matter. It is important. So first of all, let's go with how I have this rigged up because it's going to be very different from what you're accustomed to seeing. And that is, well, on a spinning combo. If you're new to the channel, this might blow your mind a little bit, but if you've been around for a while, you know Old Lowbrow throws a jerkbait on a spinning combo. And that is on purpose because, well, you see a lot of guys throwing them on bait cast reels, and there's nothing wrong with that. It works just fine. But most pro anglers, look at Randy Blockett, look at Matt Steffen, look at so many others, they're using a spinning combo with pretty much the same setup to throw their jerk bait. This is just a regular 300 size spinning reel. I've got 10 pound braid on here. I've got it to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader in this case. And this is a seven foot medium rod with a moderate action tip. And this is the perfect jerk bait setup for me. I can feel it. I can feel when those fish get a hold of it. It allows me to work the bait in the water how I want to without being over aggressive. The problem with using a bait cast is a lot of times you don't have the right rod on top of it and you don't have the right reel with it. And a bait like this has to be worked in a certain manner. You've got to make sure that you have that line slack whenever you're twitching it. It doesn't matter if you're twitching it fast. It doesn't matter if you're twitching it slow. But if you have this line taut, you're not getting that side to side action. All you're doing is wiggling it straight through the water. You've got to give that bait room to breathe. So a setup like this is what's going to be critical to your effectiveness out on the water. And well, you guys know that I love these Yozuri jerk baits. I had this one tied on today. This is a suspending jerk bait. So I can actually fish just a little bit deeper in the water. I don't have to go super, super shallow. I can still use it over some vegetation. I can still use it around some vegetation because well, on the big lake, it's all about the vegetation. You are not going to get away from it. 
Another type of jerk bait is something like this Berkeley stun up. Now, in the winter time, and it does matter, water temperature matters for this because of the density. In the winter time, this is going to be a suspending bait. But when that water warms up, it turns into a slow sinker. So I'm able to fish this in a little bit more open water. And this is one of the first baits that I'm going to be using as those waters warm up and those bass start coming in for the pre-spawn. But there's a way that I'm fishing this. There's a way that I'm doing my retrieve whenever that water has still got some cold to it. I'm still using a lot of long pauses. So let's head out on the water real quick and I'll show you just exactly how I like to work this and a suspending jerk bait whenever I'm out on the water. All right, we're coming up out here to a little bit deeper water. I've got this Berkeley Stunna tied on. This is a 112. This is a suspending slash slow sinking jerk bait. So deeper water means I can wind it down a little bit and let it, you know, just give it a couple twitches. And nice long pauses, don't get in any hurry. Got him. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a nice one, kids. Oh yeah, right as I'm giving the lesson, that's where they are. Oh, that's a good fish. Stay down. Oh boy, he's, don't you come up, don't you come up. You stay down. Unless I got him foul hooked, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, kids, that's a good fish. He went after it too, look at that. He went after it. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You gotta have the right tool for the job. We sure do appreciate that. That is a gorgeous fish. Gotta love it when it comes out that way. Thank you so much for playing. You have a good day. And there he goes. All right, let's go get the next one. So that was nice. I was able to catch a fish while I was showing you how I'm fishing that bait. And I'm doing some pretty good pauses. Now in the winter time, I may be pausing 15 or 20 seconds or even more. And some of you guys up north are probably pausing your baits even longer than that, especially if you can get that bait to hold perfectly in the water how you like it. But another type of jerk bait is, well, a floating jerk bait. And this is a rattling rogue by Smithwick. We all call this the cat turd. And this thing here is effective I mean, it's just so effective. It's, it's got so many scars on it. It's got so much battle damage on it from all the fish that I've caught. And you can see that I've got a little split shot here. Now, this makes it rise just a little bit slower. And so far, it has not impeded my hookups. But I'm fishing this a little bit differently. I'm fishing this in some shallower water. And I'm also fishing it with a little bit quicker retrieve. Because I do want it to stop every once in a while and float up. But a lot of times I want it to mimic a panic minnow. So I want it to go through the water pretty quickly. So rather than just doing a twitch, twitch pause, I will work it for longer stretches of twitches and then let it pause. You know, there are various ways you can do twitch, twitch pause. It doesn't have to be a regular cadence. So let's go out on the water. I'm going to show you just exactly how I'm fishing something like this in a little bit warmer water and a little bit shallower water and it's a little bit quicker of a retrieve. Don't be afraid to work it from the bank. Ooh, there we go. I got it. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay down. Stay down. Are you going to stay down? Ooh, that feels nice. That's nice fish. I hope I didn't foul hook him. Whoa. All right, come on. There we go. That's another nice fish. And the cat turd comes through. Jerk bait. Cat turd doing work again. Amazing, amazing little bait. 
you know that's exactly what we expected it's exactly what we wanted so don't be afraid to take chances and there he went all right let's go get another one so you can see that I work it just a little bit more urgently than I would if I'm a little bit deeper, a little bit colder water, and maybe using a different type of jerk bait, one that suspends, one that sinks. But finally, whenever that water warms up really good as we move really into the springtime and those bass have gotten pretty shallow, well, I've got my little H2O Express. And if you're, you're new to this channel, get used to seeing this guy. He's on this channel a lot because this cheap jerk bait, this little H2O Express jerk bait, which you know, you can tell it's, this thing has seen better days. It's, it's, it's pretty chewed up, pretty beat up. This thing's caught so many fish for me. This is like the cat toad. This thing has caught so many fish for me. But during the springtime, as that water's warming up, I work these really, really fast. I'm doing a twitch crank, twitch crank, twitch crank that really elicits those strong bites. It drives those fish nuts. And it's a different way of working a jerkbait that I've not seen a lot of guys do. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how I'm working this type of bait when I'm out on the water and how effective it can be. Okay, the wind is picking up. I've changed to a jerkbait. Let me see if I can do anything with this. Hopefully, I don't get hung up on that snag that's right there that I just casted straight to. Ah, there we go, I'm on. Go get up here, you. That's a nice little chunker right there. So, that's another way of doing it. You can go slow, you can go medium, you can go fast. You can put long pauses in there, or you can work it and then let it stop so that bait can float up a little bit. Or you can work it really, really quickly, almost like working an underwater walking bait, like an underwater spook where you can get it to go to the side. Now, on windier days, on cloudier days, I'm going to be using something like this KVD. This is a KVD 200. It's only got the two hooks on it, but it's got a little bit of shine to it. You see how reflective it is? And this one has caught me some giants. And I will work this pretty much how I work the other baits, depending on the water I'm coming in. If I'm in a little bit different water, I'll let this kind of have more of a pause, give those chance to come up to, to get it. But if I'm working shallower water, well, then I will work it a little bit faster. Or if I see that those bass are being active, I can work this faster. And I've caught three and four pound bass on that light little setup and this jerk bait just by watching how those bass are. If those bass, well, even on a hot day, right? Even when that water's warm, we know those bass can be lethargic. We know that they don't really want to move much. But if you put something like this in their face and then get them excited, then they will start to move. They will come after it and you will get some tremendous strikes. So think about that. During the springtime, when nobody else is throwing a jerk bait out on the water, it really can stand out. You can really be different when out on the water. And even though it's just a common bait that everybody has, you will still be showing those bass something different and something expected. And you'll be amazed at how many more fish you can catch whenever you're changing things up. So there you have it, the humble jerk bait, an effective tool for springtime fishing that a lot of anglers don't know but it's something that the pros are using to catch some really big checks as that water begins to warm up. Give it a try. Once you start catching fish with a jerk bait, you're gonna find how hard it is to take one off. And the next thing you'll know, you will always have a jerk bait ride on the front of your deck all year long. Thanks for watching Low Brow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.